Now you're saying 100,000. Um, why this target and, and when do you expect to see it? With Bitcoin and predictions, I have a good ally. Bitcoin's a great ally to have uh, with your predictions. It's going to 100,000. We will see that level for sure, whether it happens uh, by the end of June, my optimistic scenario, or towards the end of the year, ultimately it doesn't matter, but it's fascinating how resilient this asset is. And the more bearish the consensus gets, and this appears to be happening right now, the more bullish I personally get. You know, I spent a lot of time here in New York with a very libertarian crypto crowd at the um, at, at the onset of, of this whole uh, crypto universe, and they were always bullish Bitcoin because the Fed was doing quantitative easing, because um, fiat currencies were just being printed endlessly. But if we see that turn around, if we see the Fed um, start to tighten, raise rates, let its balance sheet run off, isn't that bad? for Bitcoin? Well, Matt, let's take a, let's take a step back. Like tightening, tapering, you know, reduction of the balance sheet. These are very uh, harsh words uh, with uh, regards to the Fed's action and in particular what they have been doing. I am a contrarian here uh, to most analysts. I think as soon uh, as the S&P and uh, the credit markets correct something to the tune of 20% or even you know, 30%, we will be back to easing in no time. I don't see the political will for anyone to power through uh, what is necessary uh, uh, to you know, hike the rates uh, consistently and uh, for extended periods. I just don't see that on the horizon. You know, the S&P is down year to date two and a half percent and everybody is calling the end of the world. So I don't see that uh, as a too likely scenario. And I think uh, cheap money is here to stay.